determine themselves. <clears throat> and do you not know, brothers and sisters, there are a lot of people in the 21st century church who are affirming themselves, and God has not affirmed them. <laughs> Let me unfold verse 7 some more. Watch this. Mm. These are false teachers. Let's, tell, let's just tell who they are. These persons who are, who, are, who, are, who are desiring to do this are false teachers. Again, they're not called by God. They call themselves. Now, the question we want to ask the test, why are they calling themselves? Anybody know? I want to ask y'all a question before I ask, before I ask you a question. <laughs> that why do they want to be teachers? What is motivating them to be teachers? What is motivating them to be teachers? Yeah. Huh? Besides themselves. What is the motivation? To be boss. Huh? To be the boss, maybe? To be the boss. What, like the, the teacher teaches down almost. They want to put themselves up higher than they ah, can. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. It's prestige. <laughs> because if I teach, they're going to, I'm going to get some accolades. <laughs> they're going to, they're going to, they're going to really talk high to me. This is why they want to do it. Again, they were not affirmed by God. They were affirmed by themselves. Let's go further. In verse 7. Watch what else it goes here. Uh, they, they wanted the, 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 the prestige. Watch this. They wanted the prestige. Why did they want the prestige? I'm, I'm going to show you something. They wanted the, the prestige because to be recognized by the Jewish rabbis. <laughs> or they wanted to be like the Jewish rabbis. Because Jewish rabbis were, 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 were well known in the community. So what they want to do is be well known in the community. They were able to, I was, I'm going to say it like this, it was a copycat spirit. <laughs> they wanted to copy the, or, the original, however they were not acting like the original. However they were not teaching like the original. They did not believe like the original. They all they wanted was for self claim exaltation. <laughs> Isn't it like the 21st century was going on right now? Oh, a lot of that stuff is going on right now in this dispensation. People are calling themselves to do stuff. And God ain't got nothing to do with it. But they allow on God. Oh, I'm going to stop right now. I'm going to say something else. <laughs> Leave it alone. Mm -hmm. uh, this. They were not concerned at all, watch it, they were not, uh, they were not at all concerned, watch it, about learning about scripture. How are you going to be a teacher not learning about scripture? I'm going to be a Christian. It's like the blind being the blind. Didn't Jesus say something about that? And somebody that fall in the hole, did he say that? Okay, I just want to see if I was talking right there. And watch this. <laughs> they were not concerned about, at all about truly learning the law and the teaching of it to others. They weren't concerned. They just want to be big in the community. I need somebody to turn to Matthew chapter 23, verse 5 through 7. Mm -hmm. Matthew 23. Verse 5 through 7. And watch this. Why are you turning there? It's going to, we're going to watch the words of Jesus. Talk here. Talk about how the people want to be seen. <laughs> they want to be seen. You're going to see. Who's got it? If you got it, go ahead and read it. Matthew 23, 5 through 7. Yes, please. With all their works they do for to be seen of me. Oh, stop this. All the works that they do to be seen by me. Continue, please. They make broad their I'm 
Men det kan så jeg vil have mere af det. What did you say? Somebody say it over there. Maybe I don't. Okay, yeah. All right, go ahead. Okay, take this in. And enlarge the borders of their garments. And love the uttermost room at feast and the chief seats in the synagogue. Chief seats? They want to sit in the important seats. They want to sit in, in, in the big seats. To be seen by men, to deal. And greetings in the markets, and to be called of men, Rabbi, Rabbi. To be called by men. I'm not, they, the Bible says, says Rabbi. But let me, let, me, let me be practical. To be called apostle, apostle, or bishop, bishop. Can I show y'all something? When Jesus walked these mundane shows, and see these times we got us jacked up anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We so tight on heaven, so hooked on titles, so if you don't call me bishop or whatever, I ain't answering you. Who were you before you was angry? <laughs> Jazz said nobody. <laughs> We have got this title happy thing. Jesus is explaining. And you know who these persons are? Anybody know who these persons are? Who, who Jesus is talking about? Pharisees. Pharisees and who else? Sadducees. Sadducees and scribes. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. This is who he's talking about because these persons were arrogant. They were high-minded. These were persons who wanted to be seen. These are persons who wanted to have accolades. And the notes we read, I believe verse 5, they wanted to be seen of men. The Bible says, humble yourselves. Yes, it does. Under the mighty hand of God. Watch this. In due season or due time, he shall exalt you. Not you exalt yourself. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna just say it. I never seen so many people being ordained bishops in my all my life and apostles. <laughs> it's crazy. Some of them have no business. I'm gonna say it. Ain't got no business. Background. <laughs> Ain't got no business being an apostle. Because <laughs> watch it, and they haven't been taught. Oh, I'm going there. They have not been taught. I want to be a bishop. You have not been taught. What is a bishop? I'm going to go with that too. A bishop is over, is an overseer. Overseas. You ain't got a kindergarten. How you going to oversee? Spiritual. I'm just talking spiritually, y'all. You have, you have, watch this. You ain't been in church long enough to be taught. But yes, to you a bishop. Yes, you apostle. That's what we the, we, the church is in trouble. She's in trouble. She's in trouble. Uh, <clears throat> watch this. Instead, they impose on believers. Listen to this. In Ephesus, at a legalistic heresy. Anybody know what heresy means? Heresies that offended, that, that, that offered salvation by works. I'm going to talk, I'm going to give you that works part in a minute too. Lord, be myself. Anybody yeah. know what heresy means? Anybody know what it means? The word heresy? Okay, you got the device. I'll let you, I'll let you cheat. And Key, what's that though? <laughs> so against doctrine, contrary to orthodox religious. Absolutely, that's it. It's contrary against sound doctrine. Someone who goes against the grain of the scripture. Let me use another secular term, who twists scripture. 
from whence the risen really lives. Ooh. And what they were talking about, salvation, they were saying they were teaching wrong. They were saying salvation comes by works. That's not scripture. That's not biblical. Somebody turn to Ephesians chapter 2, verse 9, verse 8 and 9. Listen to this. When you're trying to read. Again, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 and 9. This is Paul talking.
But we know, or we recognize, that the law is good if one uses it lawfully. What does the word lawfully mean in this verse of scripture? Correct. It's, that's exactly right. Now I'm going to use that as the law. Watch this. But we know or recognize that the law is good if one uses it correctly. Or uses it right. Hmm. They were not using it right. Nor were they using it correctly. They were misusing the law. So Paul has to go and correct them and say, the law is good, y'all. <laughs> it is used correctly. Uh, watch this. Watch this. <laughs> the law is good. The word good in the text means this. It means useful. The mm -hmm. law is useful. Oh, cool. The law is useful. Now it's a good, but it's also use, useful. And the word ought to be useful for our growth, our maturity, as we uh, our fairness in, 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 in the Lord. It ought to be useful. But what they were teaching was not useful. It was fruitless. <laughs> it is useful. Watch what else goes on here. The law is good or useful because, watch this, watch this, oh Jesus, help us tonight. The law is good or useful because it reflects God's holy will and his righteous standards. You notice that? His, God's holy will and his righteous standards. God has standards in his law or in his word. I'm going to prove it to you. That is holy. Turn to uh, uh, Psalms 19 and 7. Someone turn to Psalms 19 and 7. I need someone else to turn to uh, Romans 7 and 12. Then I need someone to turn to Galatians 3, 24. I'll believe you. <laughs> Psalms 19 and 7. Romans 7 and 12. Galatians 3, 24. These three reference scriptures would tell the holy, the word or the law is holy. And whoever's got the first one, Psalms 19 and 7, you can read it. Then whoever's got Romans 7 and 12, you can read it after Psalms 19 and 7. Uh, then after you read uh, Romans 7 and 12, someone who has Galatians 3 and 24 can read it after Romans 7 and 12. All right? <laughs> All right. Psalm 19 and 7. Uh -huh. The law of the Lord is perfect. Converting the soul and Converted the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. <laughs> Notice this. Wow. <laughs> what he's saying is that the law is the law of the Lord. The law of the Lord, not the law of man, but the law of the Lord is perfect. The word perfect means the, the law is complete. There is no deficiencies in God's law. It's perfect. And what? And he says, converting the soul, changing the inner man, changing the inner person of man. This is how powerful the word is. Paul also says in one of his readings, he says, he says the word is stronger mm -hmm. than a two-edged sword. In a cut, coming and going. And it cut to the mark. You know what's cut to the bone? Okay. Cut to the bone. That's sharp. That's sharp. Cutting to the bone. That's sharp. Look at it. He says, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure. And then what he's talking about the testimony of the Lord is sure. 
He said, the word of the Lord is sure. <laughs> Make no mistakes about it. He said, the word of the Lord is sure. Mm, mm, mm. And make, ooh, watch this. And making wise the simple. This word will make you wise. That's why the devil won't stay in the book. He know, he know if we stay in the book, we're going to be smarter. We're going to be wiser. We're going to be stronger. We're going to be well equipped. And he don't want us to be equipped because if we're unequipped, he can beat us up. <laughs> but that word is powerful. Mm -hmm. It has authority. It has power in it. And he don't want us to know it. It make us wise. It make us wise. Who's got it? Romans 7 and 12. I've got it. So got that, it? Yes, sir. So then the law is holy and the commandment is holy and righteous and good. <laughs> wow. Y'all get that? It is, watch this, the law is holy. It's holy. And let me ask y'all a question. What does the word holy mean? The law is holy. What does the word holy mean? Oh, y'all better know what it is, because y'all hold it. <laughs> I hope y'all are. <laughs> so, Somebody. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Do we need one turn service? <laughs> Talk to me, Alex. Awesome. <laughs> Come on, talk to me, Alice. <laughs> that's what we are, y'all. Like, yes, yes, we're that's set apart. We I'm so small. They know it. Thank you, Alice. I'm wondering what we are. Yes, thank you. <laughs> y'all are awesome. We're holy. We're set apart. We're pure. We're not like everybody else. We're not like the world. We're different. We're called out. <laughs> Woo, Jesus. Hallelujah. Well, he says it's holy. And the commandments are holy. And just and good. It's good, y'all. It's good. It's good medicine. It ain't good going down. Trust me. But if you, could, if you let it go down, it's good. It's like old folks, I never had nothing, thank God I didn't have they used to say, you used to go to the old saints, you say they used to drink that castle oil. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all know me. Okay. They said it was bad. It tastes bad. Yeah. However, they said it was good for you. <laughs> the word sometimes is like that. It's, it's bad. Yeah. So. But if you go on take it, you're going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> Woo -wee. Who has Galatians 324? If the law was our tool, tool to bring us to Christ, then we might be justified by faith. The law was our tutor. What does he mean when he says tutor? I get it. I'm going to keep getting y'all. Yes, exactly. The law is our teacher. Thank y'all. Come, y'all could be doing it tonight. He is the law is our teacher to make us better. Strengthen us and make us all that God intends for us to be. Oh, Lord, thank you. Mm. To bring up, I said to bring us to Christ. Mm. that we might be justified by faith. That we may be right by faith. Ooh-wee. Anybody want to add on verse 8? If I go to 19. 19 is just basic. Wrong stuff. <laughs> nobody, on, nobody on the 8? I'm 
I'm going to run over here. Tonight. Watch this. Verse 9 and 10. Is Diane ready? I'm going to look at it again. Again, I'm from New, New Kingdom. Knowing this, or recognizing this, that the law is not made. <laughs> I'm going to ask you a question. It says, the law is not made for righteous person. What is he saying? Or why is he saying not made for a righteous person? The law is not made for the righteous person. What is he saying? Is your hand right? Okay. Don't uh, I believe it's <laughs> To show our sins so we needed grace and liberty. Okay. You hold that thought in a minute. I'll come back to that one. What did you say, Jazz? I said to the rectors. Okay. The guidance. The Okay. All right. Okay. Watch this. In this particular verse, verse 6, because we're going to attend to it. Lisa, say what you said again. I said the law was to show that it showed our sin because we would break the law and then show we need grace to have liberty instead of the law because okay. the spirit is liberty and the flesh is law. Okay, what's this, y'all? I don't want to say anything about it. Though, but kind of Knowing that the law is not made for the righteous. I'm going to read the rest of this. You won't get it. You won't get you won't get that right here in a minute. Not made for the righteous. But watch this. But it's, it's, it's right in the verse, y'all. Y'all didn't catch it. It's right in the verse. He says, but for. <laughs> this is who is for. <laughs> the law is for the lawless, <laughs> the insubordinate, <laughs> the insubordinate is disobedient. <laughs> for the ungodly. For the sin, for sinners, for the unholy and profane, for murderers, for fathers and murderers of mothers and manslayers. That's, that's why I got. That's why I got to go to ten because the carrier is a carrier. And I may have to go to that too. Maybe. But yeah, you're right. For for fornicators. <laughs> Oh, for sodomites, for kidnappers, for liars, for perjurers, and if there is any other thing, watch this, that is contrary, <clears throat> woo, that is opposed to sound doctrine, watch this, that anything that's against Sound doctrine. He covers everything. Paul ain't even not that. He said, like, this thing, this, this law is for you who are unsaved and who doing all these devilments. This is for you. And, and all what's this? and all these other things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now they go to them. They're going to them. 